Cherry. A cherry one. Hmm. Or a jalapeno. A cherry jalapeno. Which one? Let's see. Not that bad. Mm. Actually, it kind of grows on you. Let's see what the jalapeno is like. Mm. That's not bad. Jalapeno one. <laughs> Welcome to Gino's Garden. Whoa. Actually, this hot cherry one's pretty tasty. Of course, I'm gonna feel this one tomorrow. Welcome. You know, I'm in front of the pepper plants right here. And I'm sitting on a milk cart. And earlier this year, we had a pretty big north wind come in, about 63 miles an hour. And the tomatoes were still standing. That's the name of the video. Well, I showed you then two pepper plants. Two of them right here that are in the wire cages. I had surrounded on the bottom with plastic to protect them, especially in the beginning while the plant's young, not stable. Uh, so these two here on the end had plastic them around them. This one in the center, which I know you only see the top here, did not have plastic. Yes, it has some peppers on it. But do you see these two here? <laughs> I'm sitting on the milk cart. Look, there's they're up to my neck. And they have each, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight about eight each on the peppers this one has three so you have to really think about when you plant your tomatoes and peppers in the ground especially in the beginning until they get started and get a little bit more healthier protect them with the plastic plastic go back and watch that video 63 mile an hour winds tomato stand and I'll just go over the plastic a little bit it's an inexpensive way to have more produce. All right. Now, um, I'm going to have to go drink a little bit more water to cool my mouth down because I actually did uh, kind of break out in a sweat. Uh, so, uh, why don't you all look at some uh, vegetables here? Just to remember, it's 65 days. Just to give you an idea of the growth, that's it. And then uh, we're going to go over a couple things when you're all done. So stay tuned. Have fun.
I did a little picking and uh, wanted to pick some onions out of the ground uh, because I planted some uh, extra peppers in the ground. So when something is <clears throat> done with, and some of these are, they, they could have got a little bit bigger, but I like to keep things growing in the garden, right? Before your season's up, you want to try to get as much out of it as possible. The purple beans. This is the last little pile I have right here. I cleaned the whole, the whole bed out, planted some more. That's the way it is. Zucchini and squash. Pick the last of those, clean the whole roll out. I'm, I put some more back in just to see what, what I can get. I'm probably gonna have a few. You know, it would be worthwhile uh, because we're into the first week in May already here. So I try to turn it over again by planting some more. And uh, when, you get, when we get to June, it's getting pretty hot. I know the tomatoes uh, start burning up. So that, that's a telltale sign. But the peppers, they uh, don't start setting till, you know, above 90, you know, right in there, 85. So some uh, product from those cherry tomatoes I mean my excuse me my grape tomatoes they're cherry to everybody else but, and you know the grape tomatoes come in one of these containers right and they're about three dollars roughly some places you know could be a little bit more depending uh, how far they had to travel so, as you see, I had like three little handfuls. <clears throat> this is three dollars in the store. I barely, I just took the top layer off. So I would say there's at least, I don't know, seven of these in here. It's definitely worthwhile starting your own garden. If you didn't start anything already, put something in the ground. Practice inside, practice on your porch, in a pot, and eventually get a garden started. Try to have six hours of sun. So this here, definitely worthwhile. Three dollars for this little tiny bit. Pull some Brussels sprouts. And uh, we also have, I pull some carrots. Now I, I planted the Kaleidoscope carrots, different colors. Uh, they're very tasty. My, uh, what I like to do when I eat is uh, the more colors in your diet, okay? I believe that's the healthier way to go, all right? You know, what can you say about eating fresh food, especially organic? We try to do it, okay? Do it that way. Okay? You're gonna use chemical, that's, hey, you're at least eating vegetables. That's the key, but Carrots are looking pretty good. And I pulled the beet out of the ground. Treat these just like a potato, all right? Slice them, bake them in the oven, like chips. You can put your favorite seasoning on top without the salt, all right? Eggplant on the grill without or in the oven. Slice it up ground-wise like uh, coins and uh, bread it, put it, you can bake it in the oven, or do it long ways, put it on the grill. Or put it on the grill for a little bit, slice it up and put it in the frying pan with some garlic and use your imagination. When you have, when you grow your own stuff, you can definitely experiment in the kitchen. I mean, that's what it's all about too. Thinking of different dishes to make of all the vegetables you have. On the beets, you know, you cut pieces of the beets up and you put that in with the garlic, you know, your garlic's going to turn color. So, this is a good coloring agent for food. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed everything. Get something in the ground. Start, start a garden somewhere. Or help someone else's house to help them have their garden. Maybe you can share, you know. Take the responsibility on with two or three people. That works a lot easier for a lot of folks. So, 
other than that, I hope you're enjoying your year. Like I said, it's the second week in May. Uh, the heat's on down here. So we have about another month with our tomatoes. And next time we're gonna see a lot of tomatoes. So from Gino's Garden, happy gardening. Ciao, baby.